Workers have completed another step in the decades-long decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. They have removed the ceiling of a protective cover from a badly damaged reactor building. On Monday, the workers used a remote-controlled crane to lift the last ceiling panel of the cover over the number one reactor. The plant's operator, Tokyo Electric Power Company, wants to start removing the 392 nuclear fuel rods inside the storage pool. Debris left untouched since the 2011 accident can be seen. The cover was installed to prevent radioactive particles from escaping. Workers began removing the first of the six ceiling panels in July. TEPCO officials say they have detected no increase in radiation levels around the reactor buildings since the work began. We still have a long way to go in dismantling the rest of the cover. We would like to move forward while placing top priority on safety. The officials say they need to remove the debris and dismantle the rest of the cover before they begin extracting the spent fuel. Some of the people in charge of the crippled nuclear plant in Fukushima may face criminal charges. Police have referred dozens of Tokyo Electric Power Company executives to prosecutors. And they say it's over the leaks of highly radioactive water into the sea following the 2011 accident. Residents filed a criminal complaint two years ago against TEPCO and more than 30 former and current officials. They say the utility failed to properly manage storage tanks of contaminated water or build underground walls to block the flow. Investigators say they have conducted interviews and analyzed various materials. I believe the police looked into the case in great detail. I hope the prosecutor will further investigate and bring those responsible to justice. A TEPCO spokesperson declined to comment on the case. We will sincerely cooperate with the authorities in their investigation. Prosecutors will now determine whether or not they'll lay criminal charges. As Japan and the U.S. deepen security ties, an American nuclear-powered aircraft carrier has arrived for a deployment near to Tokyo. The Ronald Reagan replaces another carrier that was sent home for maintenance. The Ronald Reagan anchored at the U.S. naval base in Yokosuka on Thursday morning. It's likely to be used to monitor the activities of North Korea and China. At a news conference at the Key, the U.S. Secretary of the Navy referred to the recent enactment of Japan's national security legislation. We are very supportive of the new security measures that have been put in place and are being put in place here in Japan. Uh, we view our relationship with the Japanese Navy as one of absolute equals today. The carrier has two pressurized water reactors, the same type used by most reactors at Japan's nuclear power plants. The commanding officer said he is 100 percent confident about its safety. Some local residents protested the deployment, saying safety measures are insufficient to deal with an accident. U.S. officials want to preserve the history of how scientists developed the atomic bomb during World War II. They've decided to establish a national park devoted to the Manhattan Project. The U.S. conducted the world's first atomic bomb test in July 1945. American warplanes dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki the following month. The Manhattan Project National Historical Park will be spread out over the project's primary sites. They include former nuclear laboratories and plutonium production plants in Los Alamos, uh, New Mexico, Hanford in Washington State, and Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Well, officials say the aim isn't to celebrate the atomic bomb. They say the park will educate the public about the history and legacy of the Manhattan Project. A signing ceremony will be held next month. The mayors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki want visitors to learn all sides of the story. They are calling on U.S. authorities to make sure the exhibits clearly and accurately show the destruction caused by the bombs. I'll do respect, sir, but I'm going to have to call a massive amount of bullshit on that. Just be quiet for once in your life. In a few minutes, be loud as you like, but for now, forget what you're going to say. Do you 
feel that in the stillness It's who you are with no bullshit In your chest, the pain expands. I'll do respect, sir, but I'm gonna have to call a massive amount of bullshit on that. In your hands, in your eyes, filling up with tears. You're not incomplete, your tears are salty. You're not wired wrong, you're not faulty You may not be remembered But you'll never be replaced Hear the drip drop of the melting snow Tick tock Goes to watch you feel the seconds go And your son Is banging down the doors Time is constant Life is tiny And gigantic And never tidy